Hello, people. I am Jabby Koei, joined by Jolie Robinson and Jules Drea, the lovely Freya. So, uh, we're going to look at types of fake people from Jordindian. It says, uh, Fake-tionary. Shut the fake up. <laughs> Thank you, Jordindian, for allowing us to react to this. Very much appreciated. Here we go. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm gonna check him do buttons. You? Uh, do Sherlock's. Last week we did Sherlock's. Then I check him Watson's. Perfect. <laughs> God. Yama! Yeah, What's for dinner? Vegetarian. I'll eat at home. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not an offside, bro. It's not. Oh, as if you know what offside is. When it's not on your side, it's offside. The <laughs> <laughs> disappointment. Man, you bro. Okay, name five players from here. Oh man, <laughs> I can relate with this. Cristiano, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> okay, bro. Tell us one more player and we believe you're a fan. <laughs> hey, Peter Williams! Glory, 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 glory. Okay, so. <laughs> oh no, I like how you used him. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh. No. <laughs> don't be that guy. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> no. I'm struggling with it. <laughs> it's doing that One so bar. wrong. That's like. Much you bitch, bro. I mean, that much. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even benching. <laughs> no. It's just. It's waiting. <laughs> uh, see you guys. See you. See you tomorrow. Gains for life, gains. Fit fam. Fit fam. No, my you God. are not. Really? No. No. <gasps> no. 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 Hashtag my breakfast. Hashtag better than your breakfast. <laughs> Hashtag foodie. Hashtag sunny side up. Oh my God, at least do it in your seat. Hashtag oh my God, he's come back. Hashtag escape. <laughs> Hashtag escape. Hashtag my bike. <gasps> Hashtag my auto. Hashtag double meter. Hashtag my right. Hashtag film my right. <laughs> Hashtag my girlfriend. Hashtag she's the best. Hashtag the longest relationship. Hashtag. Hashtag run. And I'm telling you, bro, Aishwarya is perfect for you oh, yeah. because you guys will just get along fine now because she's proper South Indian. She loves food and she just got back from the US. So, so she's saying. Hello. Nah, nah, wait, nah. wait, wait, wait. What did you bring for me from the US? Oh my god, I got you so much, but then I lost my suitcase at the airport. Can you believe that? Airport? Uh, hello, what happened to your accent? I literally always talk like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, and then I couldn't connect to the internet. Can you believe that? Like, it, it, internet. 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 <laughs> internet. 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 Wait, 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 wait. How long were you in the States for again? Two weeks. <laughs> Two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I need my coffee to be perfect. I mean, like, if my morning coffee is not the right way, excuse I'm me, sir. Done. What would you like to have? 
I'm gonna have a venti mochaccino oh, pancake no. with extra caramel and extra whipped cream. I want the cream to be extra whipped, okay? And I want it to be double layered and make sure you have caramel drizzle with a pinch of hazelnut, okay? And make it snappy. I want it no. now. So we have only coffee and tea. Tea? She, you want me to have tea? Uh, come on, man. If this place doesn't give me what I want, I'm gonna go to a place which gives me what I want. Dang. Chata, one tea. Uh -uh. Well, the heck? Wow. <sighs> One more tea. Apparently, this kid's like 12 years old and he invested $4,000 in Bitcoin when it was. This is the guy in the. What's happening, yo? Oh <laughs> my god. Bill Day is Big Daddy B. Represent West Bengal. I like him. Sorry, <laughs> how was your weekend? I'll tell you how my weekend was, bro. Got the bone. Got my low rider. Went right to my girl's house. And watched that Netflix shit. Get down, baby. Africa Bombada Zulu. Oh, wow. What's up? You know what it is. We popping in the hood all night long, baby. Hip hop, don't stop. <laughs> you know, my I'm Biggie too. And like my brother, Dean Nash would say, Black, Black Babylon, Black Clash happening. <laughs> And we are the ones who gotta fight, bro, because hip hop ain't about gangster shit. It's about taking shit away from the gangsters. It's about taking the shit. <clears throat> What's happening, homie? Yeah, we good. It's mom. Yo, I told you what I told you. Mommy, man, the ball out on me. Yes, <laughs> get near it. Jawat ko bolo, adal na de kili ham. <laughs> He's my favorite so far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the oxygen. Yikes. Nah. No. <laughs> Playing off his computer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he cutting carrots? Where is Owen? Okay. Oh, there's so much to say. <laughs> yes. I mean, it, it very much illustrates what's going on with the Instagram generation. You know, yeah. because it's all about like, oh look how amazing my life is. Oh yeah. You know, it's great. hashtag breakfast better than yours and all that shit. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> Obviously they're being hyperbolic, but like they're inside his room doing the pictures of like they're at a club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around. That's funny. This sports thing, I just I've never even tried to participate. Oh yeah, no. Don't pretend like you know what you're talking about. No. <laughs> then you'll you get school. Yeah, really fast. you will. And it'll embarrassed be embarrassed. for no reason. Yeah. yeah. It's not fun. It's not fun. It's not I good. couldn't name one name. I got ridiculed in middle school for not knowing enough basketball players jersey numbers yeah like their jersey numbers like why why does it matter how why do you have boys so much are pride weird in this stuff though yeah boys are into some weird stuff we get you <laughs> we, don't care about, we don't care about jersey numbers i'm just a little bitch inside that's <laughs> this is obviously hyperbolic of course it's jordan indian but i've seen this guy at the gym i've seen this lady at the gym i mean yes. it, you know where they think they're so that in a bag of chips, yeah. you know, and it's like, yo, like, just tone it back a little Chill. bit. Like, you're not even using the machine right, yeah. They feel like I mean, everyone's looking at them. There's this woman who comes to my gym who looks like Rajnikanth. She's like five foot tall, and she's got the glasses on all the time with the haircut. This woman looks like him <laughs> okay. when she comes okay. in, right? And so she comes in with the weights, and she's like, she, she's on the, the chest machine, and she's pumping, and she throws the weights, and I'm like, you, you what are you doing? Like, why are you chucking the weights like that? It's so it's so aggravating because someone's gonna get hurt one of these right. days. And there's this other woman who was like working out one time, and she's like, "Can you move? Can you move?" And I'm like, "What's going on?" Because I was exercising. She's like, "I need to see myself in the mirror." I was oh like, my goodness! This woman looks like you, you, uh, you should have been she, like she's, you she's like 27 <laughs> years past her prime. Yikes! <laughs> you know, she's like she looks like she's been no. surgically enhanced over and over again oh, to be in the no. condition she's in. And she's like sitting on top of the equipment, like chilling out. You know, like the the arm, the bicep curl yes, thing yes. where you sit down and put your arm over it. She sits on top of that when she's chilling out. 
like this. <sighs> this don't use machines to do that. That's it's disrespectful. Annoying. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a lot. She's just a. <laughs> she's just a lot. She's a character. I've seen the guys like that too, who are like doing pull-ups, and I've walked up to them and I'm like, "You're gonna hurt yourself. Like the way you're doing those pull-ups, it's not good for you. Like they're they're like pulling with their shoulders and everything, and I'm like, that's not exercising any of the muscles you're trying to exercise." Just thought you should know that. It's hard. It's hard to talk to people at the gym because you don't know when their ego is going to get into a bunch. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you never God. know if they're going to blow out of proportion or no. if it's even, yeah. It's like, just I mean, better to stay out. But yeah, if they're taking over areas, I mean, my, my favorite at the gyms is when girls like come with the full makeup and like. Oh, yeah. It's like, like who the are, crazy okay. coordinated okay. outfit. And you're who like, are you? Like, you're, 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 you're going to work sweat. out. I don't know. You're here for dates, so, you know? I thought, that, that was not, kind of annoying. No, later. It's not for dates, and I don't know what it's about. What I don't know what it's for? about because if you walk up to them and talk to them, like I'm trying to work out, it's like maybe it's, they just want to be it, seen. Maybe it's a security thing, also, because it's just like some women just don't like not wearing makeup. You know, it's a lot. What she's talking about is a lot, though. Yeah, no, that's, like, that's, you, that's, that's, I've it's seen one that. thing with the outfit like too, because I can imagine you have what makeup you on about, because like, lash, you came from work. Like lashes and all, like they're about to go out to the club. That's weird. They look like they're about to go to the club. Like the hair is done nice and everything too. Yeah, exactly. And that's happened before. Like I've gone, okay, I don't have time to go home and change, and I got to go right to the gym, and so I have the makeup on. But it looked like that. My outfit is like t-shirt and shorts, you know. But like some of the girls are like, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, I know. I don't get that. I wear if when this I time if and out. when I go to the gym, I always wear the same outfit. God, hasn't been washed in three years. <laughs> haven't washed in three. Haven't had to. Yeah. <laughs> haven't really had to. I've used it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Still have the tags and everything. I'm gonna return it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go back to Ross. Target. Come yeah, on. Target. <laughs> come on. She's, Give me some credit. She's fancy. Come exactly. On. She's oh. classy. <laughs> I liked how far he was taking this hashtag thing, like, on someone else's food. Because he's yeah. going to the cars, and I thought about that. I'm like, how would anyone know if it's not your car? Exactly. So you ever true. wonder that about a post? You're like, were you there? Yeah. Like, on, so true. on a, with a private jet. But he took it to such, a, like, an intense degree. He's with his friend's girl, this guy's girl. Yeah. He's like, hashtag my girlfriend, hashtag long distance relationship. <laughs> like, to excuse why she's not in more posts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This thing with the the South Indian girl w went a little bit over my head, but I think I get the idea, which is you have these people who ab abandon their own culture, essentially, yeah. abandon their own accent. I haven't been too exposed to that, so I'm not really sure what that's about. I get it. I get I get the idea, but her mm -hmm. accent completely changed. I was like, whoa, okay, yeah. I mean, she sounded yeah. like a genuine American. Both of them did, though. When he was doing the hip-hop thing, mm -hmm. he comes in, he's like s dropping all the lines and whatever. Yeah. I'm like, that's actually a really good American yeah. accent. I was impressed. <laughs> The, the people with the... Smile. Why would you do that? Oh, no. I don't even understand. This is like another thing. Like, why would you fake that? It's oh, he said that he... I don't, to be like bougie? I don't think it was... I don't think it was that. I think it was that... I mean, maybe it was bougie, he was being bougie, but I think what it was is he was too lazy to actually go to a place that had what he wanted. He went outside, he's oh, like, so he he's like, like screw it, I'll just whatever. get tea. It's like, yeah. it's right here, whatever. And you know, that happens sometimes. He's not you know? that invested. I've told Amazon off, and I'm like, I'm gonna go shop somewhere else, and then I don't. <laughs> good, good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They're yeah. like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you try. We're gonna still be successful. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We'll give him eight minutes Have you heard before. of Jeff Bezos? He's kind of a big deal. This guy's my favorite, the fake rapper guy. Oh yeah, yeah. See, that's the kind of guys I'm into. Right, right you know, there. He's you see that? Right there. His mom was emboss on his phone. You need to grow up. <laughs> you need to grow up now. <laughs> two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. <laughs> two days ago. <laughs> Shara has told me about concerts she's gone to where it basically seemed like they were basically playing their own CD. They were playing, uh, like they opened up their laptop and play, played music off their laptop. Yeah, and then they're just happens. like moving around. But these world renowned DJs. And it's yeah. like, what are you? And it was it was so bad because it was off his phone. Like, yeah. it doesn't get worse than that. No. But I mean, it's conceivable that you could basically do that nowadays. Yeah, you there can. Are, there, yeah. There, there, are, there are people who DJ off iPads now. Yeah. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, you can DJ off iPads. You can do the actual, like, piece itself. A lot of things are m mean DJ. You have radio DJs, too. What does that mean? Like, a radio DJ is more just like a personality, I think. And, and like the jabby. Because the music's already chosen. It's not like the DJ for the jabby. radio stations actually get to pick the music. Not not anymore these days. So. The vegetable cutting 
part in this. That was that really was, the, that that was, was so funny. That's why I'm saying that, that well these guys. I feel like they write their scripts and then they're like, okay, what random things can we add into it? They write it and then they go through and they're like, that's cool, but where's the extra ten percent at? Yeah, and that's the extra ten percent right there. Yeah, that's the extra sprinkle right there. That's so funny. It's great. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Jordan Dean, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. You guys, be sure to check out Julie and Jules on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Julie Robinson. And Jules. Peace out.